I just hit record, which means it's go time. It's go time here at the BB Live Show. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and uh, I'm nothing but a toddler beating on a drum, and we have uh, the weirdest show that I've ever had, uh, I suppose, the pleasure to have put together. This may be the worst episode. It may be one of the best episodes. Somebody in the forums <laughs> is already asking if they got Rickrolled. I guess technically it is. That's what's good about it. First of all, first thing you're going to notice is that, uh, is that well, actually, let me go ahead and do that. First thing you're going to notice is that me, your host, uh, has some kind, of, some kind of I'm in cyberspace thing going on behind me. I don't know if you can see that. The reason for this setup is that uh, we have a, first of all, oh, so much to tell you guys. We got upgraded to a, a suite. We scammed our way into a suite at the Gaylord Opryland Hotel, courtesy of Dodd Vickers. We'll explain how in a future episode. First, let me turn down this fantastic music. <laughs> let me introduce our panelists. We have four world-class magicians here. Uh, first up, coming from, uh, where do you hail from, Dan Martin? Uh, I am from Chi Town. I am from Chicago. Uh, from Chicago, we have Dan Martin over on uh, the viewers' left. To his, to our, to, or to our right, is Nate Stanford. Don't be right. him. Yeah, yeah, by the way, you guys over there, you need to look at this camera. This is your camera there. There you go. This is Nate Stanford. <laughs> to to Nate's <laughs> left, we have we have C J Johnson, uh, who uh, has uh, actually got started in the college market with yours truly. And uh, covered up by the Vid Blaster trial logo, which hopefully we'll be getting rid of soon. Uh, that's more news we can share with you guys. Is Mr. Gus Davis? Here, Gus. Let me, let me go ahead and turn this up. There, oh, there we go. Everything's cool. Everything. Nothing is frogged here. Everything is cool. I gotta ask, am I, am I the first black guy you've had on your live stream before? Right. So moving on to our second. Item. <laughs> First of all, quick question from the people in the forum, because you guys are listening live. Like before I, yeah. okay. <clears throat> all right, uh, CJ, yeah. focus. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> oh, we're on, right? Yeah, yeah. The audio, <laughs> the audio. How does the audio sound? Because we have syphilis. This, syphilis. <laughs> uh, how does the audio sound from the from the panelists here? Everything's good. Oh, look at that! It's already begun. Already. Somebody in the in the chat room is asking, "Is that fruity beer he's drinking?" <laughs> <laughs> I would like to point out that it's not not just one, uh, but we I believe we have multiple fruity beer drinkers. Um, CJ had a word that was not so courteous to to use for it. It, ra it rhymed with beer. <laughs> uh, so here's the thing: we actually couldn't. Just, oh, and the reason that you're seeing this crazy cyberspace thing behind me is because our setup, and we don't have a way to picture it because we're, we're facing each other right now. I'm at the desk. We, we scammed our way into suite, which means we had enough room to bring everyone in. So we set up the desk at one end, and I'm facing you in the laptop talking to you guys. On the other side, we've got these guys are all sitting at the same table, one side over here, one side over here. And then we realized they couldn't see any of the stuff that we were talking about. So in a horrific abuse of technology, I rooted around and found one of my digital projectors, and so that actually back there is is the actual you can see the display board if you look real closely uh like right about here, like there that's the Ustream window and over here is the vid blaster window and down there are the four vid blaster fees that's what they're actually looking at right there somebody says can we blow up planets on the wall i don't even know what that means but yes yes we can <laughs> regardless hell, hell that's happening. how we roll it's happening uh, okay, so here's the question. Uh, oh, somebody wants to know if we're talking about scam school. That's a very good question. Probably not, because here's the thing. All that, what ties all these guys together are we, we are here at, a, what would you call it, a, a conference for college entertainers? The National Association for Campus Activities, a bunch of college entertainers oh, no, who... Who's talking to us again? Oh, it's <laughs> us? That's one name to call it, yeah. Yes. Right. NACA. Okay, yeah. look, let, let me explain something. You four douchebags, <laughs> the audience is online. Well, Those oh, are the people hey! who are here to entertain. <laughs> Not each other, all right? Okay. You know, we actually forgot to introduce somebody, too. Who is that? That's Captain MG. Over Captain there. MG, yeah, ladies yeah, and right. gentlemen. Hey. He's on camera, but yeah. Off camera. Here too. It's to my right. Oh. Yeah, we do have a couple other people right here in studio. We're going to do the tri-laser. We don't and quite have a quad laser. And Stanford is here crocheting. As always, though, if you guys want to participate in the program, you can give us a shout at, uh, first of all, you can watch the show at bbliveshow.com. You can follow when the shows come up at twitter.com slash schwood. We'll plug all our Twitters later, which that sounds dirtier than it should. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Second 
second of all, uh, dude, seriously, Dan, every aside you're doing is directly talking into the mic. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> uh, you can call in and join us live at 866-462-4424. That's the same as 866-4-MAGIC-4 or at 866-EAT-FIRE to get online. And, of course, you can Skype in at uh, BB Live Show. So there we go. Hold on. I, don't, I wonder what's... Get out. J tell J.S. Puddin says hi. Is that is that really uh, uh uh we've got somebody in the audience Putin? is that really Putin? Oh no way. my god! From from Hunting, uh, Huntington, West Virginia. Yep, uh, yep. Uh, what's the name of the, what's uh, the name of that school? Uh, Marshall. Marshall University. Is that is that the Putin? The oh, Putin. dude, you got to call in because you know all about NACA. So uh, call the call the toll free number. You know what? Why don't we do this? We'll go ahead and put the eight six six E fire on there. Right, right. This is your show, guys. You get to decide. JS what you... is here, by the way, Putin. Yeah, yeah, JS yeah. is here. I saw him already. Hi, did you say? Right, look at that. We already got our Actually, first call. Actually, I'm here for AC awesome. Gus. Sorry, All right, hold on. Yeah, I'm not here we're getting everything set no. up here. There we go. Heads up. Hey, uh, it's Brian. You're on the air. What's going on? Hey, Stuart, it's Mitten. Oh, what's going on, Mitten? How you doing, man? Not too bad. I'm actually under an antifog as well in the chat room. Yeah, okay. Oh. So, <laughs> I thought you were mitten from the forums, but I guess now you're in, in if all goes well. This one seems a little better today. Okay, well, that's good. So what's going on? Not too bad. Just wanted to call and see how things are going at NACA. I'm a multi-NACA veteran myself. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, Minton, what, 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 what school were you at? Uh, Pittsburgh State University. Oh, uh, who I think is, is here at yeah. Nationals. Did you? Kansas. Yeah. So, so you, uh, did you come to one of the Nationals at uh, the Gaylord Opryland Hotel? Uh, no, I've been to, to one in Little Rock, one in Oklahoma City, and Cincinnati. Okay, so, oh, Cincinnati that's right, and that was the Nationals awesome. at Cincinnati, right? Uh, yeah, Nationals in Cincinnati. You posted one of the, you were an MC for one of the students. Yeah, no okay. kidding. All right, well, uh, uh, do you have a question for anyone, or are you just checking in to say hey? I just wanted to see if anybody's booked anything kick-ass at NACA yet. Uh, has anyone booked anything kick-ass, or if, has anyone seen anything kick-ass at NACA? Uh, it's like, you got them showcases, and you guys, have you guys done any of them yet, or showcases? Uh, or I don't believe any of us are showcasing this year, is that right? Has anybody been to a showcase yet? Uh, that would be a no. No. Yeah, what's funny is, 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 well, and you know how it is, or maybe you don't know. It's like you go to enough of these things, and, and you've seen it all. It's like, I get it. There are five of you, and you don't have any instruments, and you kind of sound like a band, you know? <laughs> uh, and at some, point, at some point, you stop going to showcases if, if you're a performer. Now, obviously, if you're a student, it's sort of your job to go and see the showcases, but I think we're a little yeah, they bit... Can, they can matter if we skip them and drink with entertainers. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, did you ever drink uh, illegally when you were a student at the uh, one of these things, Minton? Um, I actually did lemon drop shots with Mr. Belding at one of the. <laughs> 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 oh, me too. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> 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 First, Dennis Haskins reference of the night, folks. Uh, <laughs> second, I believe. Well, we already have it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, that, that's true. For those of you who don't know, oh, as a matter of fact, I, you know what? I guess I can share this because, the, and, and, and I'm sad because like maybe five people in the whole world will get this, but I actually have the Nacositis video loaded up uh, featuring Mr. Dennis Haskins. Maybe we'll show that later. Dan, do you have any idea what I'm talking about? No, I heard of it, but uh, I yeah, heard it's epic. Oh, it's, it's very kind of you, Dan. <laughs> for all the five people, it is yeah, for, for those yeah, five people. people. Flip the two, uh, oh the yeah, the, uh, somebody's yeah, pointing out. That would be fantastic. Okay, all right, hold on. This will be complicated. So you know what I'm going to do is I am going to play oh, the Nacositis video. Just, like I could look over and I could poke Nate. Right, but that's what we're going to do, and then we'll have like a panoramic like, view of the panel. And in fact, I'll also oh, set up, right. I'll also <laughs> set up the side by side there. So let me do this. I need to figure out where the neck is. Yeah, no, no, Minton's on. What's going on, Minton? Hey, hey just you know Landis? Landis? Just listen to you guys. Everybody, everybody's confirming in the forums. Like they're still discussing. They're like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, <laughs> they're like, yeah. They're drinking Mike's lady drinks. Oh, yeah, that was a very on, on. Mike's way. hard, Mike's hard cranberry is this one. Same. Yeah, that's not, that's not right. Uh, just for the record, this is stronger than beer. Uh, a little bit pinker though. I unfortunately got stuck with the Bud Light Lime, which uh, I'm not necessarily proud of. Everyone out there. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's nothing wrong with the Bud Light. He's making a fat tire, so. Yeah. Yeah, you're not a beer guy. I'm not a beer guy. Okay, so I'm trying I'm really hard to find. Um, uh, man, I can't find the uh, the the video I'm looking for here. Unfortunately, uh, I may have to put you guys. Go for the bomb. 
Go for, go for the what? Pomegranate. Go for the pomegranate? <laughs> Ugh, I, I, I like how everybody's all like assaulting you because I like something different than you. <laughs> nah, that's, yeah, don't worry about any of that. Uh, let's do this video right here. I guess we'll do another mashup. Off ice and Somebody was asking for the Christian Bale it. techno remix. We'll do that while I get this thing set. Here, you guys, you guys enjoy this right here. Bring your children in the room. This will be great. <laughs> this is great. There we go. This is for all the kids shows. Are, are my children in the room? All right, now I'm going to jump over and fix this. I was looking at the light. Pepper's Ghost, right? Bud Lime is good. That's good, uh, Pepper's Ghost. You have to Since I know you're graduating from high school this year. <laughs> 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 hey, John O'Brien's in the room. Hey, John. John is my yeah, I know. guy. Yeah, right? we're John O'Brien. You guys all, you guys all know John. Yeah, except Corey. No, you know John. What's going on, John? John? Here now? No, no, he's not here. 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 He's over <laughs> no, I'm trying to set up the. I'm trying to set you guys up for the right orientation, which is confusing because the. I'm looking at you guys, but the cameras are all backwards. There's no such thing as the right orientation. There's just no orientation in That's right. You can't change it. Yes. Yeah. Don't even try. It's okay. Now this is actually pretty cool because it does look like. Uh, like I was able to. Oh damn it! I just screwed it up. Hold on. Oh, Pudge is gonna call in a few minutes. That'd be awesome. All right, good. Minton, are you still on the line? Yeah, I'm still here. All right, get out of here. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh, bye, man. I'll, I'll see you, dude. Bye, man. I'm fucking serious. That's good. You know, I really think they should play this on the radio and just edit it with different car sounds. <laughs> just nothing but beep. Wait, did you say cow sounds? <laughs> car sounds. Oh, that's horn, break. You would like that. Cow sounds would be better. I love the count. I love the count. I love the count. I love the count. Oh, dude, I wish I could have a meltdown. I would love to see that again. All right, there we go. Now, and, and look, all I've done is really get you guys in the right order there. I wish, I wish that it, I mean, seriously, it took me that entire song just to make that happen. So I hope that makes it better. Do me a favor. Uh, uh, Nate, turn and look at CJ. Oh, look. Dude, that works. It totally works. Okay, so I've got to remember, and unfortunately, because I'm an okay, idiot. Right. Well, we're going to try it again. We're going to try it again. All right, hold yeah, on. Yeah. You guys are going to mess with me. <laughs> Screw you guys. Here we go. I am wise to your shenanigans, <laughs> sir. There'll be none of that. All right, but look at this. Now I've set up. There we go. Now I've got a, a panelist cam. Look at that. Look at that. There's all four of you guys right in a row. Wow. You guys, do the wave. Go. Do it. Okay, obviously you don't know how to do the way. I don't know how. I don't really win. Oh my god. Seriously? And you guys get on us about beer that's not beer. Did you, did you really mess up? You don't know how to do the <laughs> wave? I just... How yeah. do you not know how to do the wave? Alright, let's I do mean, this. <laughs> yeah, in the, in the chat room they're all like, wave fail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me tell you, that's epic wave fail yeah. right there. When four, people, yeah. epic <laughs> wave. when four people can't do a wave, it's a what? Okay. <laughs> I'd like to point out that our half of the screen did I, just fine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it's <laughs> entirely my fault. Fucked up our quadrant, Nate. <laughs> All right, so th now let me open it up to you guys. Here's the thing. Uh, we've got we've got people who have been in the college market touring for, I guess, a grand total between all five of us. Um, 74 years. I, I, I actually think that's pretty close. I would say I would say over 50 years of, of touring experience between the five of us. I would, I would give that. Give, give or take. Yeah, uh, so if you've ever wanted to know what it's like to be on the on the, on the road, if you have any questions about like what's our most disturbing thing, <laughs> somebody somebody from the uh, from the chat room just asked college market. 
You're buying children? CJ looks drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Please send them right now. I said I look drunker <laughs> than his mother. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry. Not the case. Face. All right. Now go to bed, son. <laughs> let's do. <laughs> so let, let's do this. Let's do. Uh, let's open it up. You guys go ahead and give us a call at uh, bbliveshow.com. Uh, Skype in at BB Live Show. We'll actually put you on the quad laser format. We'll put your video chat on there, and uh, you can call us eight six six four six two four four two four. And if Putin is out there, get. Are we on? Are we on the BB viewers and front page of UStream? Are we on the front page of UStream again? Let's let's oh, check yeah, with Captain MG. Down. That's a uh, that's a big ten four. Oh. Uh, we're not technically on the front front. We're not the first thing that comes up. Oh, we can change that. We're, uh, change we're uh, fifth one down. No, look, the moment CJ takes off his shirt, we'll definitely be on. <laughs> hey, Brian, you want to explain to the viewers uh, why you called it the Jump the Shark e episode? Oh yeah. Uh, first of all, this was shocking to me. I got into a, like an hour and a half long discussion and a five way iPhone conversation <laughs> because. A serious piece of technology. Yeah, how, how did the whole thing start, CJ? I oh, mentioned, wait, wait, I mentioned wait, wait. the idea of it being a good game show question to Gus, and he's like, hey, nobody knows what that means. Yeah, yeah so like, Gus asserted that, that, that nobody black. knew what it <laughs> meant. He's like, <laughs> ain't nobody know. He just lost the money yesterday. <laughs> uh, caller, I need you to turn down, I need you to turn down your, your phone, or turn down your speakers there. <laughs> When I was drinking my forty, I shot somebody and they jumped the shark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, we got we got a caller out there. Who's this? Fish rape. Hey, this is Puddin. Get Puddin! 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 Whatever happened to you, man? I stopped seeing you in West Virginia. Where are you now? I know, man. I'm up north. I'm in uh. Bowling Green, Ohio now. By the way, for those of you guys, and of course that's everybody watching right now who doesn't know who Putin is, Putin is a, a classic in, in, in the college market. came to all of these uh, conferences, and uh, it was always him and JS. In fact, the first time I ever saw you was when you hopped up on stage uh, with, with uh, Buzz Sutherland. Yeah, with Buzz Sutherland. Which is when he became Putin. Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. No, it was, yeah, I can't believe you how, how on earth did you run into this travesty? Man, I've got you on Facebook. Oh, oh, so the Facebook came out. Oh, that's great. I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad you popped in. You know, JS is here, actually. I figured he was. He's got it on there. He's going to be down at NASA. Oh, that's badass. All right, look, do you have a question? or if it, so, oh, oh, wait, Chris Minton says he knows Puddin. That's amazing. We just made a connection. We just made a love connection. I'm proud. I'm proud to be here. Right now. What's it all about? All right. Uh, hey, Give Putin, you, do you have a question for our panelists? Anything that you want to, to put them on the spot? Something embarrassing that you can make them uh, divulge in front of an audience of dozens and dozens of uh, of people? Oh Lord, no, I don't know. It's uh, it's no. been a while since I've seen CJ. CJ, go on. Well, that's yeah, cool. Well, man, I gotta tell you, it's it's badass to hear your voice, and what a what a treat to actually get somebody See, from. I, now, I, I have I have something for you. Wait, me. now, Putin, right. you you were wrestling at one point in time, weren't you? Yes, sir. Uh, are you still wrestling? No, no, man, I gave all that up. All right. Oh, dude, that's too bad because if a wrestler with the name Puddin won the, that'd be the awesome. championship, that'd belt, be the that'd greatest. Be, that'd be pretty awesome. In this good. corner, Puddin. <laughs> <laughs> In this corner, So, so here's here's my question to you. Uh, without having seen or heard the backstory, uh, uh, do you know what the phrase "jump the shark" means? Holy cow! That was very loud. I had to unplug that, that there. That, that, was, that was Brian. The, the question, Puddin, is: Do you know what the phrase "jump the shark" means? They're talking about. No, I don't. This is amazing. That's another beer you owe me, by the oh way. Oh my God! See, okay, this is it. we're gonna have to open this up because here's the thing: I, uh, CJ, and I both thought it was obvious that everyone knew what it was, and Gus, of all people, was like, uh, nobody knows what Gus the shark means of, of or jump the shark. Because I thought that people. that'd make a good game show question, and Gus is like, nobody's ever gonna get it. And I was just like, you're insane! Everyone knows what jump the shark. So is. we all called right, Donald hey, Bryan, and asked him. Right, put, put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let, I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop you off, man. Good to hear from you, buddy. Good to hear from you too, Brian. All right. Hey, later, Putin. Uh, all right, so, so seriously, uh, uh, okay, every, uh, panelists, hands in the air if you know what jump the shark means. Well, now. This quadrant does not. Holy cow! Look at Captain, 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 Captain MG. That's what I know. Captain MG. Captain MG knows. Uh, you know what? We can actually get all three. If you want to tighten in there, uh, if you want to be in Captain MG, we can get all. <laughs> we got. We got. <laughs> sit on Santa's lap. Uh, I, I feel like our shot's missing something. We could probably use you. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Squeeze on in there. Oh. On in there. Everything's cool. Uh, so Captain MG had uh, CJ and I, and I, I was. 
I'd hate to say it, but it may be that maybe uh, <laughs> somebody in the chat room <laughs> says it means nuke the fridge, <laughs> <laughs> okay, which makes this about as much sense. Hotel here. <laughs> I, I could not believe that that people hadn't heard of uh, of jump the shark, um, but it, it it basically means uh, when something is past its prime, it's all downhill from here. It's all veering off in wild tangents, and it comes from, did any of you guys see that Happy Days episode where literally Fonzie jumped the shark? And we lost half I saw our it. viewers. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah that's, and we lost half our viewers. You're absolutely correct. That's the end of that right wow. there. Uh, so, so, uh, uh, so like Brian said, it means that uh, you know, something is past its prime, but uh, uh, here's my real question to you, Brian. Uh, how, many of your, how many of your viewers uh, uh -oh. uh, will say that MySpace has jumped the shark? Oh! Very good question. good question. Has MySpace jumped the shark? Because we've already uh, had yes. one Facebook reference uh, on here. Which well, fa yeah, Facebook's. Uh, well, uh, and now we've had a MySpace reference too. It's Damn a. Damn it! It's <laughs> a <laughs> <laughs> just, just to be clear. Yeah, great. You're the one who ruined it. Uh, hold on, I'm fixing this over here. You guys uh, feel this, Gus? They like, they like, like your do rag there. Uh, take over. Oh, hosting. take over host. Okay, yeah. so here's the deal. It's a big uh, 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 MySpace. Uh, I think I check my MySpace page. Maybe once every two months to delete the spam. I think that's pretty much the deal for me. Uh, and I want to throw that to you guys. Y'all, I mean, y'all actually no. check your MySpace. I ping it in. Well, <laughs> and, and because and because I'd MySpace makes you go there to check your message. Like if you get a message that says you've got a new message, come and see what it is. Facebook, you get a new message and it tells you. And it actually you sends it over to you, yeah. And you're like, oh, cool, I got a message. From now, now, I tell you, Facebook you know. would be even better if it created a custom email address to where I could reply to that email address and send it back on over oh, to where I didn't have any action yeah. to go to MySpace or Facebook or whatever it is. First <laughs> of all, look, I just want to point out. Join that's all a of the benefits of Facebook. Are look, not actually have that to real quick, though, can we take just a moment to admire how badass the cameras look? All five of you bastards in a row looking sitting pretty. Although it looks like uh, it looks, looks like, like CJ and Gus are a little more comfortable than the three stooges over to the left. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to put that. What, what, what a crap shirt. Sure. That's true. <laughs> hey, CJ just got a text message. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, but it's, but it's, it's from my son Jonathan who's uh, up at 1130 night watching us. So. Uh, hey, you Jonathan, know what? Hey, Jonathan, what you need to do hey, is you need to... Uh, <laughs> Jonathan needs to join us at bbliveshow.com. You can call in 866-422 or 462-4424. Hey, hey, don't call, call in if it's going to get you in trouble with your mom. There, buddy. Especially yeah. call in if it'll get you in trouble <laughs> with your mom. <laughs> By Do all not means, listen to Brian. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, listen okay. to the authority figure on the fake television show. <laughs> uh, I'm All right. Uh, we need we need a topic. We need a direction here. This thing's veering wildly uh, off course, and uh, whenever what? that happens, I am tempted to play a hilarious video, which usually ends badly. So, uh, does anyone have something that you want to bring up? Well, I just w w one more shot for the uh, for the for the audience there. Is there is there anybody who doesn't have a Facebook page and just uses MySpace out there? Oh, that's a good question. Because if you are, you if you are, there. yeah, now's the time to publicly admit it. I at mean, uh, Oh, we have someone in the room. It's Corey? It depends. I haven't been on my MySpace for like six months. I just don't use many. In my, in my defense, I haven't smoked like the crack for like days <laughs> and days. I woke up and I was sleeping with a monkey and I don't even know what happened right there. So. In my yeah. defense, I don't know what the internet is. <laughs> uh... No, no, that's 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 a really good point. So uh, I well, guess I guess you know I didn't mean for this to be a topic, but as organic as the show is, apparently oh, we have a caller. Look at this. <clears throat> Please direct. Uh, oh, and now he's gone. That was uh, that was Jonathan yeah, getting by his mom. That was somebody <laughs> about to admit that he was on Facebook only, <laughs> and, and then or on MySpace only, and then chicken out last yeah. minute. That's all right. Be courageous. You can actually, you know who that was? It was Alex Rangel, C.J. Johnson. Was it? Yes, it was. Uh, so well, I don't know if he's going to call or not. You know why he hung up, don't you? What's that? You know why he hung up, don't you? Why? Because he's afraid of me. Is he? I kicked his ass last time I saw him. I just took him out and I just pummeled him. <laughs> <laughs> that was gangster, man. Do wow. I say? Yeah. All right, they wanted he to know what so the Skype address is. Let me give you guys all the uh, <laughs> so all the all the information here. Uh, you can Skype in at BB Live Show. You can call in at eight six six four six two four four two four. Is there somebody in the forums named Hobo Vag? Am I seeing that correctly? <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. All right, no, now we got Alex on the phone. Hey, this is Brian. You're on the air. Who's this? As if I don't know Alex. you, Alex. What's going on? In CJ's 
prime, he couldn't kick my ass. Uh, <laughs> I'd, I'd hate to break it to CJ, but this is still his prime. <laughs> yeah, there, there's not a chance in the world. In, in fact, if I'm ever going out somewhere and, and I'm afraid of it and we're at a magic convention and Alex is there, I, I'm going with Alex because <laughs> he's going to protect me. That's sad. I know. Hey, uh, All right. Uh, Alex, I'm a, I'm a wuss. Were, were you about to call me for something or, or and you just checking out for no reason? What's the story there? Uh, no, I, I, I got the text and I jumped online, but I guess I shouldn't admit this, but I do not have Facebook. I'm MySpace only. Oh! oh! We have our first. Oh you know what? You and Corey can have a uh, an anonymous group together. <laughs> now, Alex, do you do you actually own, do you check it like all the time? I mean, do you have like MySpace chicks on there, or is it just like I mean, do you not check it and just that's what you got? I check it uh, at least twice a week. Yeah. Now here's the thing: does it actually freaking work for you? That's the reason I gave up on it. Is because half the time I get on and it would crash out every time I went to check my freaking messages. I was like, well, screw this, I'm out. Well, yeah, but I also don't get, you know, 300 messages a day like famous prime. Well, no, no, I, I, just to watch one message, it was like it wouldn't load me in. It was killing, I mean, am I, am I alone? What do you guys say? Panelists? I, I haven't checked in a long every, time. Every time I sign on, I suddenly get, uh, I'll get at least two friend requests from girls who were strippers and have one name. <laughs> no, here's like, you can't see my pictures on MySpace. So They're too sexy. No, here's the best part of that guy. Yeah, yeah uh, in their defense, those pictures are too sexy <laughs> for MySpace. But see, but see, that's... You point. know, uh... I, I don't bring friend that request like CJ one time, time and he always brings it <laughs> Wait, wait, yeah, hold on. Wait, what, what's that, Alex? I said my girlfriend friend requests CJ one time and he's always going to bring it up, you know? <laughs> oh! oh! Come on! I would I would say yes to Desi. That didn't sound right. Wow, that just uh, <laughs> that got way too personal all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting my ass kicked now. All right, let's just, <laughs> well, see, but uh, that's that's exactly why I stopped with MySpace is because like I started getting all these people who were like, "Hey, uh, you want to be friends?" I was like, "Oh yeah," and I realized it was a scam. I was like, "Well, that's that's." It hurt your feelings. Hurting. Yeah. Is that I what it was? That's you, you know. And that never happens in Facebook. No, actually, I think uh, the only thing that that happens to me in Facebook is people who I knew. Homer in Simpson school, has to be my friend on uh, on Facebook. Homer Simpson. Yeah. Seriously. Well, I mean, you know, I don't. That's <laughs> what I'm saying is I don't think it was actually the Homer Simpson <laughs> since oh, he sure? doesn't exist. That's oh, my point. What if there uh, was what's her name from Marketplace? Hey, but didn't you have uh, uh, someone? Because uh, the voice of Homer Simpson comes shows. to these things. She's yeah, actually, actually okay. No. So here's here's the way that Facebook actually Nancy works. Cartwright. I had somebody, That's Bart. Uh, I had a friend of mine, uh, Amanda, uh, came to one of our game shows in Chicago just because she saw I put a post on Facebook, and uh, you know that that was a good link. Whereas every time I put anything on on MySpace. It seems like that means that's an invitation for 15 bands to request me as a friend. You know? Yeah. So <laughs> somebody, somebody very wisely points out from the chat room: <clears throat> it's the internet. Boys are boys, girls are girls, and little girls are FBI agents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a caller in from Skype. We're gonna see if we can get him here. Here on video here. Uh, who do we got? What's going on here? You got to turn down your audio if you're gonna do the Skype thing there. By the hey, way, Brian. Who, hey, how's it going? Do you have any video or are you audio only? Not even both. video or audio. What's Neither. that? Got them both on. Okay, great. Uh, we'll uh, send us over some video and we'll we'll see what we can do. What's going on, man? What can I do for you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have video. No worries. That's all right. Today's opposite day. Do you have MySpace? Uh, yeah, you MySpace only or are you Facebook as well? And and that's we're, no, we're just testing the delay. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, I want to do this old school. Yeah, go ping. All right, we we dropped it. That's, 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 that's All right, look, uh, here's the thing. I did think of one topic that's going to get everybody. To uh, somebody, somebody says Brian looks like he's gonna have a seizure waiting for this guy to talk. <laughs> <laughs> like, Would you talk? <laughs> I do have one topic that I know everybody wants to chime in on, and that is the uh, Transportation Security Administration, the TSA. Uh, raise your hand if you love the TSA. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
week three. Well, fuck, if TSA's watching, I don't want them to... You know, <laughs> 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 I'm just my ass, yeah. man. I, I'd like to change my vote, actually. Well, no, no, it's too late. I'm wearing a bandana starting tomorrow. Actually, can I tell you... Ryan, can I tell you that... I had the greatest experience with TSA on because I flew on Valentine's Day and like I think they uh, they felt the love no, they intentionally them? hired like the most desperate women like it was all women for TSA what and, like, I was walking through and they're like do you have your boarding pass it's like yes yeah. they're like I'll give it you a boarding good pass with you. I mean it was like it was the weirdest thing what ever. I swear to God hey in, in Buffalo there was the hottest TA, TSA agent it was like she was going through my it, it, she was going through my bag and I was kind of like. <laughs> Take your time. No, yeah, <laughs> I totally was. I mean, you was, you like enjoyed being she violated was, by she this was chick. Gorgeous. She and she was trying to downplay her hotness. <laughs> and two the the two CSA <laughs> girls that were there with her like, were both like linebackers. <laughs> so like, by comparison, it was like she was just raging. <laughs> CJ went like, to the metal detectors with a bowl full of chains. Seventies music to start in a second. You know, wow. she all took all the empty water bottles and was like. CJ, did you go to the metal detectors? Would change their no, but I did ask for a private screening. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, Nate. Pro or anti TSA? You know, I I fly out of Iowa. And <laughs> I, I no think they have yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no TSA in Iowa. I'm just I'm just saying it's not as big of a problem because. There's not a line or anything to go through, and I know all the guys. So you're saying you don't anyway, mind so. being butt raped as long as it's quick. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, was wow. it, now, was it's who technically was called court. Oh, no, I mean it's like a bit of a jump there. Was it you who had the TSA experience where you landed in the middle of nowhere, and when you were loading up on the plane, it was like there wasn't even a TSA. There was like one lady who was like, "Well, I know everybody in town." And oh, you're it not was in Haver, Montana. You went there. Oh. That was where. That was where. Okay. Okay. Brian, yeah, 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 I yeah. did a show canceled in Haver, Montana, and Brian goes in like a week later, and he does it, and he's like, yeah, it's kind of weird. He says, this guy, and he, everybody up there was super nice, but this guy picks me up in an old school pickup truck, and there was a <laughs> dead coyote in the back of the pickup <laughs> truck. So it's like I had to throw my bags in the back of his pickup with the dead coyote. Well, and the weirdest part was not so much that there's a dead coyote. It's that I, I lift the bag, and I stop, and I freeze, and he goes, and, and I'm like, uh, and he's like, what? It's a coyote. You know, <laughs> like, like, duh. So he tells me about this, and I'm going up there like a month later, and I'm like, well, I hope he doesn't have a coyote in the back of his pickup truck. Guy picks me up at the airport. There's a dead coyote in the back of his pickup truck. And I'm like, surely it can't be the same coyote a month later. It, it was. Yeah, well, you yeah. said it was but pretty it was frozen. clearly. I mean, it was frozen. Oh, so it's good. Solid. Well, it's yeah, Montana. It's just, yeah, yeah so I never, it never thaws. Well, but, but the next morning, we go, I go back, and I'm like, well, I better get there early because, I mean, this was right after 9 11. You know, this was, I mean, this was 2001, 2002. And, and I'm like, I'm going to have to get to the airport super early because there's no metal detectors. They're going to have to go through my bags by hand. And so we get there, and, and at 6 o'clock for an uh, 8 o'clock flight, which is what they and advised you do at the time. Right. right. There's nobody there. I'm like, well, crap. Well, it's, you know, two degrees outside, which is not enough to grease. And <laughs> so I, I'm like, well, crap, what am I going to do? I can't make this guy with the dead coyote wait for me uh, the whole time. So I, I try the door, and the door to the airport is just open. So I'm like, well. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. You went marching up. To an airport <laughs> yeah. and yeah. decided to let yourself in. The door to the airport's open. So I'm like, well, I guess I'll go in. I'm like, hello? Nobody's there. So I turn a light on <laughs> and I sit down. And I'm the only person. And I'm like, well, I'm going to get in trouble because I'm in the airport all by myself <laughs> in 2001, right? Did you May, you know, it was 2002 because it was January 2002. And uh, so I'm just sitting there, and, and I'm like, this is really weird. I'm terribly uncomfortable, but I'm not waiting in the cold. And so this lady comes in, and she's like, well, hey, how you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm great. And she looks at me, and she goes, are you Charles? Because that's what the C is for. And uh, I'm like, yeah, am I the only person on the flight today? And she says, no, I just know everybody else. 
So she knew everybody else. Who by, was by the way, CJ, uh, <clears throat> your text messages seem to punctuate things at weird moments. That was, <laughs> you know? that was Alex saying something. <laughs> like, like, oh, I just know everyone. Ding, ding. That's like that's the punchline. That's or something. That, that would be the greatest that. TSA ever if well, they all knew every single person then, but you. Yeah, well, so. And then, then <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, are you guys going to go through my bag or what? And nothing. No security out. at all. Zero. No, they put that. us on the plane. Really impressive. And we all left. And then we, when we got the billing, we earlier. got to go out well, and get the Here it is, security. blown up. That's funny. Wow. 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 This is a big horse. It's a big horse. Order big now. Horse. You get the camera. You get the printer. 4X <laughs> optical zoom. <laughs> Schneider <laughs> lens. I love Schneider. Photo printer. SD card. Look, Look at, at that, that horse. <laughs> the bushy <laughs> tail, the big <laughs> teeth, the hooves. Can you show the story? Okay, my producer, Tara Cates, just told me this isn't a horse, it's a butterfly. <laughs> I'd like to point out, CJ knows every word of this and is singing <laughs> Actually, along. It may, in fact, be a moth. But look at what the zoom did. I mean, you can see details in the antenna. Now, you can you made. imagine if that guy was a doctor? Look at this vasectomy. I'll tell you what. You're a gynecologist. <laughs> Oh my God! All right, look. Uh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, if you would like to participate in this tragedy, go ahead and give us a call at eight six six four six two four four two four. Better yet, okay. Skype in with your video at uh, BB Live Show. Oh, thank goodness, CJ's gone. We could talk about him. Hold on, lean lean forward again, Nate. That was kind of messing me up. Lean lean just towards CJ's thing. So, oh, get, do it again. Do it again. You're walking through the wall. Your Great Wall of China or some shit. Come on. And you won't. Wait, where's nice. he going? Yeah, no, wait, you gotta. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So I was going through TSA this morning. Yes, go. Yeah, this is uh, this is timely humor, topical humor. Uh, and of course, we get interrupted by a phone call. <laughs> Hold bastard. on. Hold on one second. Hey, it's Brian. You're on the air. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Brian? Hey, who's this? This is John. Oh, John. Oh, Brian? Is this the baby faced assassin? Hey. <laughs> What's up, John? All right, John. Uh, what do you What do you got to 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 donate to this discussion? All right, I'm going to do a little bit of a callback, but um, I would like to let you know that the TSA has a MySpace, but not a Facebook. No, uh, that's not <laughs> yeah, true. Go look it up. <laughs> I just looked at it. Are you kidding me? TSA has a hey. MySpace page. I just want to know how often they check it. Do they have zero <laughs> friends? Because that would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> not even Tom. Not even Tom. Not even Tom. Not even Tom. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> okay, I've got to find this. The TSA MySpace page. If somebody has a link. Dude, I want to know who's in their top eight. Because if there's someone going. La, 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 la. <laughs> It's Ahmed the dead terrorist. Yeah, hold, yeah. On. <laughs> hold on, hold <laughs> on. By the way, I just typed in TSA MySpace. Oh, let me get let me get a graphic of this. We hey, did uh, uh, we did I did TSA MySpace, and we have uh, TSA gangsters on MySpace music, <laughs> which I think may be the actual TSA rap. <laughs> Is that like the Super Bowl shuffle? <laughs> That's <laughs> Uh, TSA on MySpace music. Uh, I work for the TSA. Um, oh, no, I just I don't, like I don't reiterate that I like the TSA. <laughs> Mike Galanti, I will be your friend on MySpace. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to point out, I think it's the biggest waste of government money that's ever existed, and I think you're all bastards who violate my civil rights every time I walk through. And that's I'd like Brian to point out I'm wearing a bandana tomorrow. We've <laughs> 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 just been knocked off the air. Oh my God. <laughs> it's all right. I'll talk louder. <laughs> <laughs> We're all on. It's only Mike, and he's like, I'm the only one left from the. Uh <laughs> Did get us canceled? Is that what yeah. happened? I, I leave. There's a big knock on the door. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, uh, look, uh, somebody sent me a link to the TSA. Uh, John O'Brien, prove it by posting yeah. a link in the chat room there because we do not believe you. We want to show this TSA MySpace, and I guess you can't send a link to what's not the uh, the TSA. Oh, my goodness. Dude, All I, right. I'll, do, I'll, do I'll look it up again, and I'll send it to you. Right, look at this. I just realized that on VidBlaster, I can... Uh,
I can uh, use the scroll wheel and come up with a bunch of different... Uh, you can actually use the mouse wheel to scroll through pictures from this one to this one. Uh, by the way, I spoke to I spoke to that well. <laughs> well, there's a We're picture of Jaws for some right. reason. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. We'll do, we'll do that. Uh, in fact, the guy the guy who wrote Vid Blaster uh, skyped me earlier today, and was very excited about uh, about our mobile rig. The fact that we were able to, to throw everything in a briefcase and actually perform. And I promised I'd put together a demo and a tutorial of all that stuff. So hopefully, we'll see if we can do that. And somebody, oh, there we go. We got some uh, Alan Hope. Let's see how this goes. Hey, it's Brian Brushwood. How's it going? I don't know if we're connected hey. yet or not. Hey, what's hey. going on, dude? Bloop. Do you have uh, Do you have video? You want to send video? And he's he's gone. So we'll call him. All right. Take we'll call him. Uh, by the way, John O'Brien, if you have a link to <laughs> somebody says ah the familiar Skype drop. If you have a link to a TSA MySpace page or a uh, uh, or a Facebook, go ahead and sh uh, shut John O'Brien down and actually provide. Hold on. I really want Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a church hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Justin Robert Young, are you there, buddy? Yes, sir. What's going on? Wait, where's your Where's your video, bud? Nope. I'm trying to put it up. No, 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 no. It's, it's coming. It's coming now. Sit tight. Everything's cool. Nobody's freaking out. Everything on the internet. Nobody freak out. Everything's fine. Wait for it. Wait for it. What's that? What's going on, CJ? This isn't working anymore. What is I was just comparing our uh, video monitors that we're all using our iPhones as video monitors. Mine, I think mine. Oh, you guys are all watching the program on your video monitor. Right, so, hey, really, 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 we're, we're not watching the program. <laughs> 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 yeah. Demain, Taffy, and I'm an unbashed. <laughs> 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 Who's this? It's, it's, with, it's almonds. Almond. with almonds. It could be a Snickers bar. I'm not quite sure. Uh, what's going on, Justin Robert Young? Hey, we see you, Justin Robert Young. Oh. Uh, well, I did have one piece of news. I just wanted to let everybody know that the uh, the newest episode of the iChurch Magic Week in Review featuring uh, Dan Martin and Brian Brushwood is going live right now. Yay! Yay! Nice. Would that be at votefordanmartin.com or would that be at iTricks.com? That is, uh, well, Same of course, it is the big fat <laughs> link for votefordanmartin.com. <laughs> Right there in the front of iTricks.com. We so are, are, we really we the are of shameless world. whores. We are <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible people. Look at that. I feel terrible. Look at this. This layout I just set up. Uh, keep the black band down. Covered up by the vid blaster trial right there. Sorry there, Gus. Wow. Dude. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not. No, it's not. That. I, I feel like on, on, I'm on an episode of Cops right there. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, here's one of my, so we're driving <laughs> down the road one time. about the audio. Oh, yeah, uh, Is the audio yeah. jacked up? Uh, well, I don't know. What, uh, I know Justin's audio sounds a little bit crappy, but he's on one of those Macs, so I don't know if that's what... Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. look, at the, look at the ship talk from yeah. Brian Brushwood. Yeah. You know what it is? I'm going to blame the hotel, actually, because they've got really, uh, as all hotels do, and this is a good question. I'm, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch to this, and I'm going to switch this over. I'm going to give poor Justin Robert Young a... Uh, there we go. So you're right there. You're in the... Uh, there we go. So we got the quad laser working. Uh, He's in your faith five. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, but I am done with hotel Wi-Fi. Hotel Wi-Fi. When they say high speed internet, they're obviously it's joking. Yeah. They just I mean, mean internet. Only yeah. twenty four ninety five minutes. Uh, but you know what's funny is I will. I'm, yeah, well, I'm now to where I would rather pay. It's like I get excited when they charge for internet because when they charge, I know that they're not messing around, and, and I'll actually get decent. Decent speeds. Whenever it's free, it's it's barely faster than. Uh, See, but I don't understand why why it's why it costs money. I mean, it's all free little because things they floating spend around. Money yeah, it costs them, it costs them money. Well, the reason why it can suck is because like, how long can you possibly be pissed at them? You can really only be furious for like what seventy two hours at the most, and <laughs> you're gonna be gone. So they yeah, can just true. finger you for whatever that time is. And, and you know, I've been that guy. I've actually called the tech support, and I've waited for the thirty <laughs> minutes to get a hold of someone, and I'm like, this internet is slow, and they're it's like, time check out, sir. And, and yeah, exactly. <laughs> And they're like, uh, well, that's because a lot of people are using it. <laughs> and I'm like, well, this is unacceptable. And they're just Take like, off slower. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shocked the answer wasn't like, what the fuck is the internet? <laughs> right, I don't know. If that's... <laughs> Sorry. And wow. and thus we reach the heart of the conversation. <laughs> Because there's really only re one reason that the traveling businessman needs to access the internet while well, he's in his hotel. 
<laughs> Horns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin, you got anything else for us, man? How, how was that episode? You just edited it. No, no, no. I just want to let everybody know iTrick.com, and then uh, if you uh, if you like what you hear, go ahead and do uh, iTunes and subscribe there. But, uh, yeah, great episode. I listened to it again today to edit it. It is awesome, so everybody should check it out. Very cool. Okay, uh, I'm gonna uh, check it out. I'm it's a great say, show. It's a great check show. Uh, just, just for the viewers, uh, what for what <laughs> do, what is there a ten thousand dollar reward for? That's what I need to yeah, know. Yeah, I was curious about that too. Tell me it's Osama bin Laden. Tell me you got Osama bin Laden on that T-shirt. Either that or a novelty oh, picture. Oh no, of you this at is uh, my buddy. Here, I'll, I'll show it to you. Um, <laughs> my buddy has a, a friend who does T-shirts and stuff in Cleveland. It's the poster from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Oh, okay. uh, which I think is like the most awesome thing in the world. Oh, so it's like my favorite Ooh. t-shirt ever. We all know so Osama bin Laden is the biggest thing. So we bring you 10 grand, is that right? If what? What was that? We Basically, we, we yeah. bring you if you miss, well, that I mean, you better miss pretty good. Off. That's uh, <laughs> kind of what I'm looking at. Anyway, see you guys. All right, later. Take care, man. Later. Uh, you know what? I don't think you guys have seen this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this. Shh. Wait, wait. Seriously, I don't know. I don't know if you guys. Any four of you are me, I'm gonna come across this table. I'm sure we drop down. Look, uh, you want to know what's gonna instantly up our viewers? You ready for this? I'm ready. There you go. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Here we go. Check this out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the most dangerous trick known to man. This is the infamous spikes of death. With little fanfare, Arendo was led by his assistant to the spikes of death. Arendo had accurately represented the trick. It was truly a dangerous bit of sorcery, meant to be attempted by master magicians only. Arendo's task was to free himself from the straitjacket before a candle flame burned through a rope which was holding the spikes of death. The spikes consisted of six lethal steel daggers embedded in an 80-pound iron drum. He had approximately 15 seconds in which to escape before the dagger smashed into his skull. The spikes drove deep into his brain, oh, no. killing wait, wait, wait. We'll with a six lethal steel daggers embedded in an 80-pound iron drum. He had approximately 15 seconds oh, in to escape wait, wait. before the death. Like you guys, here's the problem. You guys are looking on the on the U stream, but I'm trying to show the U stream your reaction. <laughs> no, he can't. So you're see. looking at the wrong. Oh, you can't see that part. I you got it covered up up here. Move the chat room thing. Down. Move the chat room down. Oh yeah. Wait. The chat. Oh yeah. Wait. There. Wait. There else. That's it? No, that, no, unfortunately, there's no way, oh, shit, that's the only way for you to see it. All right, well, whatever. Dagger Here, we'll, smashed into we'll his skull. This. Here, go. Wait, did Dagger smash into his yeah. skull? See the guy moving on the Yeah, here you go, watch. Oh, my God! Hurry, 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 get over there and help somebody out. The spikes drove deep no. into his brain, Hold on, killing him. Listen to the audio when they say that. Like, like, like some some skull. bit player, <clears throat> some bit player is like, ah, you know, ad lib some. You just saw a dude stabbed in the face thing, and this guy's like, ah, somebody get over here and help him. <laughs> like, listen in the background here. I have a question. Well, you can tell because there are exactly three children in the audience. <laughs> I have a question. What? what? Which masters of illusion? Oh, 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 yes, the, the question is which masters of illusion <laughs> episode was <laughs> this? <laughs> what? The spike <laughs> drove <deep into laughs> brain, killing him instantly. Oh, see, Wait, no, death no, was directly the caused by the audience. There's one. No. In fact, that might be him in the audience as you, well. What you guys? I'm looking at it on a something <laughs> iPhone size on the other side of the room. I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm pretty sure, sure this is too. Paul Draper. I think uh, there's one per Justin Robert Young is laughing his ass off. Uh, there is Paul Draper the right there. Dangerous trick known to man. 
Call <laughs> infamous. Getting stabbed in the face. Spikes of <laughs> Stern dude. The help of me in the Hobo in the in the help chat room. Him. Hobo for JJ says, uh <laughs> it uh sucks he died in such a <laughs> in front of such a crappy audience. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I do this trick for at least five people, but since we can only get three, all right. Uh, and actually, uh, for uh, sodium pentothal right. is uh, is actually bringing up what I really wanted to show, uh, and I'm trying to I'm trying to actually get a hold of it, which is my all time favorite. Not what <laughs> that what that shh, that's <laughs> you're giving me, you're giving away my stuff. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Uh, Saved vids? Nope, nope. And it might be over here. Nope, that's still. It is picks. a little surreal. I'm looking on my iPhone at me looking on my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm in a barber shop chair. You're in a barber shop. So I have a question. Yeah, when there's mirrors in front of you, I've got an answer for you. Uh, you know, I Wait. don't think that's the point of the, sh of the, of the clip. <laughs> the point of the clip is somebody got hit in the face. Uh, that was the sure This enough. is the point of the clip oh, right here. Go. Hey, it's Devlin. Have you guys seen this? No. You haven't seen this, Dan? Great this magic video. Ever. That's the best trick ever. I think he's showcased tonight. <laughs> so I have a question. I have a question. <laughs> Can you say something? I have a question. Can you say something? Oh, Okay, no, it's fantastic. On the phone, that was Mark Schneider reminding us that these nachos weren't going to eat themselves. Oh, we'll have to help him. We were so committed. I mean, they're not watching. Well, Chris Angel is Chris Angel. There's, there's Osama Bin Laden. $10,000 reward, dude. Wow. Is this version copyrighted? Uh, the MIDI version. <laughs> you're talking about the music? Yeah. Yeah, this is all MIDI. Yeah. That's when a cast deal. It's awesome. <laughs> How many times have your viewers on this show watched this video? Uh, you know, I don't know that any of them have been able to sit through it <laughs> until <laughs> now. What you're saying is you put it on the list. <laughs> well, I don't know. How many have we lost? Most of them? Yeah. Yeah? How many? It goes down at least that one. Hold on, here's the best. The best is USA. <laughs> I think we just found Mark Snyder's showcase. <laughs> All right, let me do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this for a second here. Uh, somebody, somebody brought. Uh, this guy uses MySpace. Yes, he does. Of course. <laughs> this, uh, this. Somebody points out that's really good. That's really, that's good. Uh, this one, and this is one I don't know if you guys have seen. This one uh, made the rounds kind of early on. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm hey, hoping my, it's going to download here. I'll bet you a dollar that 25849 is my son, since he references Mary Schneider. I'm going to say that's <laughs> John. Is that Jonathan Johnson Don't over there? go to bed, Jonathan. Your mother <laughs> somebody, you. somebody just called this the super gay magic <laughs> hour. <laughs> uh, speaking which of is which, funny, since not one person at this table is actually gay. Uh, but we all are super. So... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting I'm for incredible. you know what unfortunately the internet connection at this hotel is so bad I can't hit play on this YouTube video but I'm gonna start it and see if you guys have seen this have you guys seen this one right here with the uh, the mass magician failing on national TV oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you guys have seen it or no yeah uh, it's it's a pretty awesome uh, epic fail here 
Uh, and it looks like it's going to take a little while for it to download because, oh, hotel so, internet hey, is while, so terrible. Uh, while they're doing that, did I ever tell you, we on the way up to a, a gig one time, we get pulled over and I'm driving and Gus is riding and uh, and <laughs> this guy pulls me out and he's asking me questions at the back, back of the car and Gus is sitting in the passenger seat on his iPhone. He starts playing the cops theme. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's sitting in the car going, bad boy, bad boy. What's he going to do? And so the cop walks around to ask him some questions to see if our stories match up. And knocks on the window, scares the crap out of Gus, who now looks guilty as can possibly be. As he rolls down the window trying to silence his knife. That was a very awkward moment for me because of like the thought that went through my head was if I go to jail because I was playing the bad boys theme, oh my god, oh my god. How do you tell people that? Huh? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's like I'm I'm getting I'm getting raped in jail. That's all there is. So I <laughs> a couple weeks ago, we're going by, and there's a cop got somebody pulled over on the side of the road, and we're driving, and Gus is like, you're so getting pulled over. I'm like, I'm not getting pulled over. I'm not even speeding. He's like, you're getting pulled over, man. I'm like, no, I'm not. He goes, yes, you are. And as we pull up next to him, and Gus goes... <laughs> <laughs> So a couple weeks ago, Gus was in town, as you mentioned, in, in Chicago. Why do all these damn stories have to do with Gus and Tom? <laughs> and uh, we're driving to an after party. Hold, hold on, real, real quick before we go any farther. Somebody yeah. in the chat room uh, figured out accurately that because of the angles of the cameras, it appears to be five dudes and a, like a 40 of Bud Light Lime. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just for Why do you think because it's a 40? It's yours. <laughs> wow, there it is. All right, all right. Keep, keep, keep going. Keep going. Uh, but hold on. Also, also from the chat room, Sodium Pentothal says, uh, this one time at band camp, Gus, that's how every story seems to begin. All right, go ahead. Pretty so much. this one time at band camp, <laughs> so, we're, uh, so a couple weeks ago, Gus was in town in Chicago at after the after party. We were going there. He was following me to the after party, and all of a sudden, Chicago cops decided to pull Gus over for no apparent reason. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I drove, uh, <coughs> I, he didn't know where he was going, so I drove around the block. I'm, I'm going to hit times right here. Okay? Time out. Because he, here's the deal. is I'm talking to Dan, and uh, <laughs> there's a, a friend of mine in the car, and we're sitting there, and... Uh, and so the cop lights come on behind me, and the thing that Dan says is, Oh, crap, dude, it's illegal to talk on your cell phone in, in Chicago. <laughs> hang up. I'm, like, I'm talking to you. <laughs> so I hang up, and, uh, and the, the girl that's in the car right now is freaking out because she's like, Oh, my God. Like, Chicago PD is just known for, like, taking people to jail. You're, I'm so, and, and I'm just like, Especially you know, when the girl's 14. From my There's <laughs> <laughs> certain parts of these stories. She may in fact have been 12. <laughs> <laughs> Her hair was wet. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> even a butterfly. <laughs> Maybe even a butterfly. Hopefully a horse. So, uh, so, uh, so she's tweaking out. Uh, and I, and uh, real quick, from, from the chat room. <laughs> Can at least one of these guys finish a story? Yeah. Go ahead. No. Keep going. So, Keep going. Shut up. So, <laughs> so here's the deal. So see, uh, so she's tweaking out, and he's walking up, and I'm like, you don't understand. Uh, from driving around with CJ and flicking off cops, I get pulled over <laughs> all the time. This is no big deal. So the cop pulls up, and uh, and he's walking to my window, and Dan has kind of bugged out at this point in time. Like he's he's going around the block so that he can come and like be a good guy and and like sit behind us, right? So uh, he comes up, and he's all like, the reason why I pulled you over is because you have an expired license uh, tag on the back. And I'm like, oh, that's cool, because it's a rental car. And uh, don't know yeah, what I'll, you want me I'll, to do. I'll make sure to tell Alamo. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll tell Alamo that, you know, they messed up. Now, how, like, how totally tasty did you feel, like, at that moment? I kind of felt like I slapped him right right in the face. and he, and he But he was cool. He was just like... Sounds reasonable, and just walks off. <laughs> and walks off, gets in his car, and drives away. Well, Dan at this time has made the whole circle around the block and comes up, parks behind me, and he looks around. And he's like, what? So he, he gets out. It's snowing. He gets out and he runs out in the snow, and he comes up to me and he's like, "Dude, what'd you do with the cop?" <laughs> Gus is like, <laughs> it was, it was, 
That's pretty cool right there. <laughs> pretty good. This morning going through so TSA. One time, so one time Gus and I were leaving a donkey show in Tijuana. <laughs> <Okay, wait. First laughs> I would like to point out that that's Dodd Vickers from the Magic <laughs> <Empire>. <laughs> 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 All right, you know what, uh, uh, Dodd, if you can call in, I know we talked about saving how we upgraded to a suite for another day, but uh, but I, you know, nobody's watching. That's as as usual. <laughs> there are 77 people. Oh, 79. Yeah, and none of them, all right, look, and all of them are going to watch the Masked Magician do an awesome job at this card trick. I'd like to show you something that is off of the uh, DVD. Okay. Uh, real quick, have, 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 who's seen the panelists? Who's, who's seen this? I, I, watched, I, I took more joy from this than uh, anything in a long time. I love seeing <laughs> this so bad. <laughs> this, this is our virtual sixth panelist right here, seventh panelist. Yes. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Um, what I'm going to do... Hey, well, we, uh, by, the, by the way, listen to this guy's voice. What is that right First now? of all, <laughs> what is... <laughs> Com, everybody. Oh my God! Welcome oh. to the BB Live Show. <laughs> Home to the only magician training camp. <laughs> I'm afraid to hit play because we're gonna lose it forever. We have to wait Prince Spring. Prince Spring. That made me feel good, bro. It's even better because I've been, I've been told that's a horse. <laughs> Somebody, by the way, by the way, to bring this back to our theme, somebody in the chat room just says, um, "That is when you jump the shark." Just then. <laughs> the shark. Way to stay on theme. Good job, Way to bring it back around. What's What's it's great a is callback, a class of, of comedy. More he's, magic penises. He's, he's no. got the He's got the fist like he's about to, uh, <laughs> you know, kill it. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, but, but real quick, listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. Whoa! <laughs> Where is he going with it? All right, so listen to his voice and try to picture who the guy is in stuff. <laughs> Hold on, somebody, somebody just said, "Ooh, the Prestige." <laughs> <laughs> is that Christian Bale? <laughs> what don't you fucking understand? All right, uh, uh, try to picture who the guy is in here and listen to the sheer panic in his voice at the at the right moment. This is pretty good. I like to show you something that is off of the uh, DVD. Okay. Ah, antes de fazer o negócio do copo, ele vai mostrar uma outra coisa pra gente. This is his first performance yeah. on TV um, ever. Yes. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Um, what I'm going to do? Yeah, this is a good area. Okay. Seriously, this guy has clearly never done television ever no, before. Well, no, they're, they're translating, so it's awesome because the guy is translating every one of this guy's little semantic crutches. Words. Yeah. yeah, every one of the semantic crutches. The the translator is bothering to go. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you'd, you'd be really good if a, like a lucha libre wrestler came out and just like <laughs> and just stomped his ass, stomped his ass, penis and all. All right, here, here we go. <laughs> okay, let me mix these up. Now this is this is something that is actually on the DVD that people at home that can do. All ages, magic is for all. He's telling you that this magic here. É uma mágica antiga, mas que todas as pessoas, até crianças, podem aprender. Então, okay. se você de casa quer aprender uma mágica com o Mr. M, preste muita atenção agora. <laughs> Somebody from the chat room just says, just says, sometimes I produce stretchy penis just for a <laughs> <laughs> That is also on the DVD. <laughs> Magic is for all ages. <laughs> for those of you who've seen Fight Club, that's where they like spliced in something real quick. <laughs> okay, what I'd like for you to do is to make uh, four piles. Four. Você vai dividir em quatro pedacinhos. Okay. Take so we can mix them up so that you know that there are no 
special order. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take three cards, mm -hmm. put them underneath, mm -hmm. and then put the next card <laughs> on top of them. Bom, prestem bem atenção. Ele pediu para Cris Flores tirar três uhum. cartas desse montinho de cartas, uhum. passar para baixo e a outra carta passar para o próximo monte. Ok, good. Now do the same thing to this one. E a mesma coisa com o monte seguinte. Okay. São quatro montinhos que ele pediu para Cris Flores dividir. O que será que vai acontecer aqui? Você tem? Same thing. Yeah. E a mesma coisa com todos. She's going to do this with, with, with the four. With the four. E ela vai fazer isso com os quatro uhum. montinhos. This way we have no idea which is which. I'm a intenção da Cris fazer isso é para que ela embaralhe bem as cartas okay. e a gente não e ele não saiba que carta se encontra no topo do baralho. Porque a gente não viu nenhuma carta até agora. Exatamente. Ok. Now, let's take a look what you did. Uhum. We're going to turn over one card. Can you have an ace? Ele falou que agora a gente vai começar a ver o que a Cris fez. That's a very good card. Primeira carta que a Cris deixou no topo, um as de paus. See? This is a nine. <laughs> okay, now real quick, I want you to watch the way he turns over this card and then tries to turn it back down like he's ashamed of it. And then realizes he's screwed and so he goes forward again. Watch this. That's a very good card. Primeira carta que a Cris deixou no topo, um as de paus. See? This is a nine. Dude, you know what? Wait, sure. he, for a second. All right, he, tried, he tried to do the like the maverick move where he flipped it over, it was something, they flipped it back over, it's like, please let it be something else. <laughs> let it be a <laughs> it. <laughs> And so now's, all in. now's when he gets that adrenaline rush. And, yeah. and like, like now he's peeking, like he's trying to look at the car to not let the camera see anymore. <laughs> First, we can realize how screwed he is. I just want to know, can we get the DVD so we can learn this? <laughs> and now he goes back to, he goes back to the other one, and he's muttering to himself. He goes, uh, see? Oh, I want to hear the By the way, the music only makes it better. It's all like dramatic, like, how will he handle this total fuck up? <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is a great time to wear a mask because you can just be like, you can be like, by the way, uh, uh, I'm out. <laughs> I, got, I got nothing. All right, here we go. Now watch the mask. He's got wood. You did something very special. What? Go back to the penis. Oh, go back to the penis. You did something very special. He never fits, Mr. Amy. But Chris, play with your cards. Chris, what do you think about your cards with Mr. Amy? I don't know. Somebody, Oba of JJ in the chat room says, "You see, it's another ace." Uh, my producer is telling me it's actually a nine. <laughs> Possibly even a six. <laughs> Alguma coisa de estranho aconteceu aqui, gente. Espera aí. Eu fiz o que ele mandou. Ele fez aquelas flores. Ele mandou. You it. really did something very special. Eu já estou com medo. So it's funny. It's, he doesn't know what they're saying. For all they know, they're like, this idiot American just screwed up the trick. And then he tries to laugh along. He's like, ha ha, you. Really did something special. Okay. Okay. Chris, what is it? 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 Yeah, if only somebody can provide us with a translation. Alguma coisa de estranho aconteceu aqui, gente. Espera aí. Eu fiz o que ele mandou. <laughs> you really did something very special. Yeah, you, you found the, all the aces. Oh, except for one. <laughs> But how do you do that? Wait a second. The, the five, maybe that's giving us a clue because that's not correct. So let's go one, two, three, four, and there's the fifth. The fifth ace. He goes to the fifth ace.
Did he say the fifth A? He was like, one, two, three, four, and here's the fifth A. You guys were like, ah, that is, uh, once again, on the DVD. This was uh, this was directed by M Night Shyamalan, so there was, <laughs> there was a twist at the end. What I'd like to do is show you one of my um, first tricks that I ever learned. It was one of my <laughs> wow, wow, that's pretty good. <clears throat> do you know who this mass magician is? Uh, it's not Valentino. No. It may no. in fact be a moth. Yeah. Do, do you know? No, I don't. Oh, okay, because I thought you had a scoop for it. No. <laughs> here on the BB Live show. It's Brian Rushwood. It's Nate Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody says, let me show you how to make a stretchy penis disappear. <laughs> Uh, okay, look, uh, I'm about ready to wrap things up here. If you guys uh, last minute want to salvage this train wreck, uh, go ahead and give us a call at uh, BB Live Show on Skype, 866-462-4424. Uh, anything else you guys want to share, our panelists, our forum? Well, I, I can share a TSA story from this morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot we were telling that, didn't we? Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we probably should. No, 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 go All right, so just keep going. So I travel with uh, bottles uh, of uh, empty bottles of beer. For my show, and uh, I put them in my carry-on because they're going to be broken if I don't. And this morning, my luggage is going through the the X-ray machine, and she goes, "Sir, are those bottles in your bag?" I go, "Yes, but they're empty." She goes, "Well, I'll believe you then." <coughs> I was on my way. Are you serious? Right, okay, it's a heart attack. All right, Brian, you got you got to tell. Uh, you got you got to tell the the story. The toaster? Best story yeah. I've I mean, ever the, heard I mean, in my the, life. The, the, uh, the time machine story. Oh yeah, yeah right, this will right, be yeah. the highlight so, of the entire. No, episode. no, okay, that's not saying a lot about this but, episode of the BB Live. <laughs> Alex just uh, sent a tweet that said that he uh, just joined Facebook because we all made him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice way to cross the line there, Alex. <laughs> By the way, Alex Alex wrote the funniest. Uh, tweet that I have I've ever read so far, and I just want you to know that, dude. It was the uh, good night, uh, uh, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite, because uh, they might have HIV. And, 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 just by, and you wrote that, and I, I got it right before I closed my eyes, and seriously, we in a for hotel? the next 20 minutes, yeah, I was in a hotel before down the road. Before you <laughs> had your, for the next 20 minutes, I was just like, before you had your nightmare of yeah, the sausage-fingered yeah. leprechaun. All right, hang on. Squeaky Pants is on the line with us. What's on Squeaky Pants? Hello, Squeaky Pants. <laughs> squeaky. Squeaky Pants, are you there? It may in fact be a stretchy penis. What just What just happened? Squeaky Pants. Oh, you know what? Uh, you know I set um. Hey, r uh, real quick, did all of a sudden, <clears throat> did all of a sudden the audio go way down for you guys watching out there? I wonder if, uh, I wonder if the Skype is messed when up. When they Skype someone, we lose volume. Up there. Well, Alan of Hope is calling. Let me see what happens here. Hey, Alan, it's Brian. What's going on, man? Going once. Hey. Oh, there um, he is. What's going on, dude? Yeah, I, I just nothing at all. I noticed that you guys were showing the YouTube videos, and there's one video that you guys uh, should have played. It's about uh, some guy, uh, I forget, it's like a whole bunch of um, magicians, and one guy gets uh, nailed, and he pretty much gets his ass whooped on stage, because uh, like, they found out that it was a gimmick. What? What? Alright. Do you have a link to this? Yeah, yeah how do I find this? Whooped. I gotta find it on uh, YouTube. Put ass whooped I'll definitely find ass it. Ass whooped magician? <clears throat> Is it ass whooped Yeah, magician? he gets his ass whooped. What? Okay, I'm gonna type in ass um, whooped. <laughs> I don't know if it's one word, Brian. I think it's just an magician. It may in fact be two. <laughs> it may in fact be two. Uh, you, you don't have any other descriptors that you're gonna find? Well, one guy wrote it as black. Man. One one someone wrote it was a uh, black man. Black like man. Kicked, uh, like magician though. Yeah, and the uh, 